Y'all, Dame Dash is talking? And he's going to make sure he's the man that takes down Jay-Z. I know there's a lot of rumors on the web about Jay-Z. Dame Dash said, uh-uh, I got first dibs. I'm getting my look in. He ain't forget about what happened for Leah. He ain't forget about what happened with Rockefeller. And he didn't forget the way Jay-Z tried to snake him over that sale of 31% or 33% of reasonable doubt. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Go to the playlist. Jay-Z tried to devalue the reasonable doubt um, catalog the worth by issuing a fake statement about how he, it's going to revert to him in five or six years. It's some legal stuff. The court actually said that Jay-Z tried to poison the well, but y'all forget all that because Jay, Jay Dash is funny. He is a character and he is shining like the sun. Do you know that Dame Dash just said that, um, Dame Dash just said that Jay-Z, Diddy tried him Gave him the Chirac special, but he refused to drink from it. And guess what? He said he would hate to think it, but he remembers that Jay-Z gave him some of his alcohol. And things were looking a little, getting a little shaky, right? And there was even a photographer to chronicle it. Y'all, let's get into this because if Jay-Z ain't really... <laughs> let's listen to Dame Dash, all right? Because again, this is a disturbing update. But like every other story, Dame Dash is so amusing. Let's listen to one of the early people that knew Diddy when he was Puff and knew Jay-Z before he was Mr. Uh, Mr. Carter Knowles. Is he talking about Diddy his right hustle now, is but putting just wait, Jay-Z gonna, pop, Jay gonna pop out with some Jay-Z mess in a second. Listen. He made a liquor. I mean, that's the illest shit in the world that everybody was partying and you don't know what was in that drink. And if he was, <laughs> pause, undercover gay, because oh, I didn't know I it. I love the way he ordered a noise maker from Amazon Prime. <laughs> And every time he went through, he's like, pause. And then hits pause. Anyway, let's keep going. And obviously, if he was knocking men out and they were waking up violated, he's making somebody gay that doesn't want to be gay. I think it's more than making somebody gay so I'm like, that is griefing someone. But let's continue. A lot. What was in them drinks? That drink. And then I'm starting to think like, damn, when did hip hop start to lose its masculinity? When did dudes, and again, no disrespect to nobody, but like tough niggas started wearing dresses and pocketbooks. They're called Louis Vuitton like, shoulder like, bags for your information. Maybe that could be the reason. And I'm, you know, I'm just thinking it through. Like maybe that could be the reason why Hip hop took a turn for the feminine because that shit, if homie is, was really putting shit in people's drinks and he's making the liquor, you know, they, you know, and again, I don't know, and I'm not even saying it to be funny, but they saying, you know, homie was putting shit in, in motherfuckers' baby oil. So how could you trust that person to I serve mean, you drinks at points. such a, a, a big my scale? Nickels, Dame Dash is just really amusing to me. Everything he says is just. So I'm remembering Nori so adamant about me get, taking a, a shot of Ciroc and I'm like, nah, and I brought my own. And, and now y'all can understand why I always want to make my Pause. own. So I brought because my own liquor. He could be telling the truth about the reason he bought his own liquor. But from what I read, you bought your own liquor because you were hating on the fact that Puff got Ciroc and you were like, yo, if you get in a bag, I'm going to promote my own liquor and bring my own liquor. And if people start noticing me, then I'll make my own liquor. So it was more of a business decision, but maybe, maybe he knew the rumors about Diddy too. And he's like, Oh, I'm bringing my own liquor. Cause it could have been, I wasn't there. He was, but listen. You know what I'm saying? I was taking shots of my own. And then what happened? I made him take shots of Ciroc. Uh, and then he ended up getting too drunk. 
talking about take your shirt off and all this type shit. It's on tape. So I, I, it ain't like you just you just naturally start to Here think of things. And then I, I I was thinking. Pause. Let me hit the Dame Dash. There was just one time. Pause. Right. I need to get a pause button from Amazon Prime. And then let me finish this sentence. And then I was thinking. Can I screw over Jay-Z anymore because we are mortal enemies and he shall know no peace as long as Dame Dash walks the earth. I think that's what he really wanted to say. Keep going. That when my daughter was 16, uh, Jay had a show and my daughter wanted to go. So I'm like, yo, I'm not going to deprive my daughter. So, I, you know, I hollered at Jay sent the kite. Which and honestly told him I wanted to go was to a show odd with my daughter. at that time because they were at odds. So it was weird that Jay Z even honored that request. But that's what the streets were saying. Let's keep going. And they now, accommodated me. If Jay Z did do this, that's kind fullest. of messed up. Did you put a kite out? Like, yo, can you look my door? Look out for my daughter. Jay Z was like, yeah, I'll look out for your daughter for her birthday. He rolled the red carpet out, and now this man sitting on the couch spilling everything. But let's continue. People were really surprised to see me there. I took pictures with everybody. But and again, Emery's my brother, so I would hate to Pause. think that he was fucking around like that. Pause. But he kept asking me somebody. That was the first time I had tasted that douce. And I got ridiculously drunk to the extent, and my daughter and I were talking about this the other day, that I was like, yo, I, I don't get this That's drunk. Crazy. Why am I so drunk? And I ended up, pause, wrestling with Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. He got me in a chicken wing. And I remember uh, Vaughn taping that shit. And I'm like, yo, why are you taping, Vaughn? So I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, cause homie makes drinks too. And 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 again, yeah. just if this is true, these are the things that I'm like just reflecting on. And if like if if I wouldn't have played everything completely by the book, complete honor, then I could have been compromised. And what would have happened? If I ever woke up feeling some kind of way, compromised, now, what would I have done? Pause. I'm sorry. Pause. Right? Now, all jokes aside, Dame Dash, when it comes to Diddy, um, he might be right. If he didn't play everything by the book, and if he was not into any weirdo stuff, again, there are people in hip-hop, look at Dame Dash, that are talented, that bought the culture, that moved the culture, but he wasn't. Um, into any of that weirdo stuff, right? At, at this point, every time I say somebody isn't into weirdo stuff, I got to say knock on wood. But the reports are he wasn't in to any of that weirdo stuff, right? So it's entirely possible. But when it comes to Diddy, I asked a few people that was in the limelight back then, and they said, oh, Dame Dash was the doll. I mean, not doll, but he was like, he was out of the group, the cutie patootie. Everybody wanted to get at Dame Dash. That's why Jay-Z even hooked up with Dame Dash because Dame Dash had the network, he had the flow, all the girls wanted to be around him. And you know, compared to Diddy, Dame Dash was the doll out of all of them, right? People felt like he had money and he looked the best out of all of them. So let's go to Dame. So I can see if Diddy wanted to literally see how Dame Dash, you know? I could see how he had tried to get him. And again, according to all these allegations, did he put stuff in the drink, trying to get people loose off that juice, right? And then all this stuff actually came out. Yo, what's going on with Lizzo? I know this, what happened to her comeback? I guess after she was accused of did he like crimes, right? Well, let me not say did he like crime, but she was accused of weirdo stuff. She figured she better shelve that comeback until this Diddy trial blows over. I saw her coming out tomorrow, she lost some weight. Did you do that on the banana diet? <laughs> anyway, let me get back into this, right? But Dame is saying that Diddy tried him, right? Or he thinks he might have. And that is actually reasonable, especially when you think about the fact that they said that Diddy may have been doing it also to blackmail people, get them into compromising positions and do all this other stuff. Now the Jay-Z stuff, 
this is something new he said that he was like, but wait, you got your own alcohol brand. You invited me. I had some drinks from your alcohol. I don't usually drink from other people's bottles besides my own. And even my own daughter noticed I was getting loose off of that juice, like in a way that I never gone before. And I'm pretty sure Dame Dash was not getting drunk, party drunk in front of his daughter on his daughter's birthday, right? And there was a photographer there, there to, uh, to document it. Now, and it is interesting that he threw out Kevin Hart's name. If you guys don't know, there is a reality star that says that they know for a fact that Diddy was still seeing this girl named Jade, who was mentioned in Little Rod's lawsuit. And Jade was also seeing Kevin Hart. How did they know? Because Kevin Hart called Jennifer Lopez's ex-husband, Casper, to be like, you better tell your girl to me leave my girl alone. Y'all, this is getting deep. In any case, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll be live later. I'll talk to y'all later, but ooh, wee. Yeah, Dame, Dame, Dame. But that's the thing with Jay-Z. It seems like on his rise to power, he made a lot of enemies. And there's a lot of people that want to throw dirt on his names. I still will maintain. I don't know about these freak offs, but I do think that Jay-Z should be very, very worried about his financial links to Diddy. And also what was happening in rock nation under that time while he was a part of rock nation because we all know that when you are the head of um a company right we all know you are responsible for what happens in that company um i'm looking at you janice combs i'm looking at you justin dior combs and if this is stuff that we're hearing about rock nation is true we are looking at jay-z however the truth will be revealed let me what y'all know what y'all think in the comments i'll talk to y'all later bye